Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to start World 2 with Hothead Hop. Uh, let's go and you'll notice that there's a chest up there. It's kind of hard to see actually because they made it darker than the surrounding areas. Well, I should say dark as the surrounding areas, excuse me, but darker than any other chest. But there, you see it now? Yeah, I'm gonna use that to break open with a green one-up balloon. By the way, that enemy that I just killed there is a rather tricky enemy known as Clampon. It is an enemy that you cannot cartwheel or, uh, you know, like do that attack against because it'll actually bite you if you do so. And these crockheads are actually considered enemies, these things that I'm standing on here. but. They don't actually hurt you, in fact they help you. The brown ones spring you up, the green ones do not. They sometimes sink into whatever they're in though, so I guess that's kind of enemy-like because they can trick you. But otherwise, yeah, they're a pretty useful enemy and necessary to get through levels. So I don't really know why they're classified as an enemy overall, and I need to break this chest open. No, dang it! <laughs> Must. Break. Chest. There we go. It's got a cannonball. That's why I wanted it. <laughs> Collect the stars. Indeed I will. Yeah. Uh, a funny thing I always notice when I start a walkthrough is that people ask if it's going to be 100%. And my answer will pretty much always be yes. I don't even know why I'm asked that nowadays because I don't even remember the last time I've had a walkthrough that wasn't 100%. And what's inside this chest? But anyway, yeah, I don't really see what's the point in that. Uh, there's bananas. Here is Squitter the Spider, a new buddy, and I should probably go up here by pressing the A button to make spider webs. You can redirect the spider webs by holding a direction on the D-pad as well. And there's a Donkey Kong coin up here, which is why I'm going up here to begin with. And I suppose you can collect the bananas if you want to. Pressing the Y button will shoot out spider webs, of which you can also direct with the D-pad by pressing up or down in the direction as you're firing them. Very, very handy. I wonder if there's anything higher than this coin. Whenever you see Squitter in a level, you can almost be certain that it's going to hide some stuff way, way up high, because Squitter can get absolutely everywhere in a level. <laughs> like, quite literally, because of its abilities, it can, it can get everywhere. Like, down here, I could go down there if I wanted to, but I could skip this entirely. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? And I guess the screen is cutting me off there, but if there is something up there, like maybe something hidden by, well, I should say something indicating by these bananas here, you can use spider webs with the A button to get up there. And in this case, it is of course a bonus zone. And they know I needed squitter for this, otherwise they wouldn't make me climb upwards. Don't worry, just take your time. It's not that high up. Just Make sure to make every jump just right, and there you go. You'll have plenty of time if you do so. Did I just exit the bonus level by going above the exit? <laughs> that was, that was kind of weird. I don't, I don't think that usually does that. Maybe it's a emulation error thing. Uh, what's back here? Did I already... Yeah, I think it skipped me past some stuff. Because I... Yeah, this is where I was before, because there's the bananas leading me up there, okay. Just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss anything there. They can be tricky. Uh, oh, I just killed off Zinger off screen there. Um, I think there's another bonus area coming up, actually, after this segment. If you don't have Squitter, you're just going to have to use those barrel cannons, but you're going to miss out on these goodies here, because it'll plop you out right here. And there is the bonus. Can I get up there? Yeah. Just one spider web. I will find the token. Maybe. <laughs> oh, it's another climbing segment of sorts. Again, just be careful. Don't even hold the Y button. Just make little baby steps along the way, and you'll be able to control your jumps nicely. Yay! I think that's everything for the level, so... Die, guys. No! Oh, I don't know what the rest of the prizes were. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of echo. <laughs> now 
that's what I mean about the song being a little bit different for each one. Oh, uh, I got all the stuff here, but this unlocked. Clubba's Kiosk. I don't know if I should do this now because... I, wait, can I actually do this now? No, I don't. I can't do this now anyway. Um, I need 15 of these to get into the golden barrel past him. And yeah, you know what? I'll try paying you. You know what? I'll try fighting you. <laughs> he's actually not an enemy. I mean, he's not listed as an enemy. He just I guess he just wants to be paid for his stuff. I mean, he doesn't hurt. He doesn't hurt you at all when you fight him. As you can see, I still have both Kongs here. But it's still a, a funny thing that he doesn't let you pass without the booty. Alright, let's see if I can win some lives here, just for the fun of it. That would be Hot Head Hop! Uh, yes, Alligator Alley. <laughs> um, four? Let's see if I can do this. Lucky Lava. I don't really consider Lava all that lucky in all honesty. Green and brown. Uh, that would be one. I don't even think there's a one, there's one that's worth five in the game. <laughs> uh, first area of the island. Five? Yes! And one more... Wow, this one's costly. <laughs> Ten. Simple math. Beetle first appear... Level two. That is the uh, click-clack enemy that you have to jump on twice. Dixie's his girlfriend, really? <laughs> I thought they were sisters. My childhood is ruined. I thought... <laughs> yeah, I thought they were sisters before, but I guess they're... Hmm. Boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> I kind of feel dumb for not knowing that, because that's probably a piece of trivia that I thought I knew for years until now, until I got to this point. And anyway, Cannon's Claim. Next level, this will be introducing the enemy known as Cannon, which quite literally shoots stuff at you, and what he shoots at you differs. And all right, I knew I recognized this beginning. Whoop. And yeah, of course I gotta find the token. Why wouldn't I have to find the token? Oh, these barrels. You can only go in the barrel of the character that you're using, so it kind of restricts you at certain points to get certain bonuses, and you're gonna have to switch characters at certain places. I think you get the idea here. It's a character swapping bonus puzzle dealio, and there we go. <laughs> Just match the character to the barrel, you'll be fine. Boop. And it shoots me right out here. Uh, are they gonna show Neki? Think, oh, here's Cannon. When he shoots off barrels like that, you can jump on them and use them to get to other areas. Uh, but I kinda like the bananas just for the fun of it. Just because I know they're there. <laughs> and saying there twice, even if they're two different kinds of there, sounds repetitive. Uh, these TNT barrels explode and kill multiple enemies within their blast radius, so they're pretty handy. And their blast also doesn't hurt you, which is exceptionally handy. There's a letter K. Oh, come on. It's kind of... These barrels are kind of tricky. You'll find later on in the level. Uh, when you're jumping into one barrel to another, and you have to angle your jumps, you probably want to, like, angle yourself as you're falling into it so that you don't miss the barrel, as opposed to, like, jiggling left and right to keep yourself going along the way. If you need a, a buddy, just hit the Donkey Kong barrel up there using Cannon's barrel, and you should be good to go. I'm gonna have to get past him, aren't I? Oh, God! <laughs> uh, looks like I don't have to get past him. Dang it! Well, that was a fun diversion, though. A little bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> Careful. Watch for zingers. I think I need this barrel for something else. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Oh, I need his barrel to get that. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure, actually. I might be able to get that. Oh, but it's not all that important. Uh, like, you don't need the letters to get the 100% uh, in this game. Well, actually, it's technically 102% for this game, and I'll show you how to get that as well, because most people uh, in the first playthrough, they come up with 101%. There's an, ex there's an extra requirement 
for 102%, which requires you to visit every location, like even Funky's Flights in their respective new locations and stuff like that. Uh, Cranky's Cabin, Wrinkly Kong's Kong College, you get what I'm saying here. And I feel, ah, uh, there's that there, but I feel I'm missing something. Like, I, I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> Like, I, I, I think I missed something in this level. Maybe I'm thinking of another level that i thinking that I missed, but maybe not. I don't know, because I, as I said, my memory... I, <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm a little bit rusty at it. And... Yeah, my knowledge of, has probably waned a little bit along the way. And these are Neki. They dive at you and you can jump on them and yeah, there we go. Now you know what a Neki is like and they're, they're kind of like the surprise enemies of the game in that they dive bomb you as soon as they appear on screen. They can be kind of tricky in that regard though. Oh geez. Oh, Arceus. <laughs> wait, 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 isn't there something? Yeah, there is something over here. Uh, switch. Whoop. Yeah, prizes! And you know I missed that letter O because I was lazy. And oh, there's a bonus area there. Definitely want to keep Dixie for that so it's a little bit easier. Unless I won't have to. Um, um, can I like get the camera to... Oh shoot. <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh! Jeez! That's gonna be tricky to get. <laughs> Alright, barrel me up. Yeah! And there's some barrels over there too. Uh, of course I gotta find the token. Why wouldn't I have to find the token? Can't you give me some more variety? Dang it. <laughs> and yeah. The bonus areas get a lot, lot harder later on in the game, but that's kind of to be expected. Ooh, I want to break this with something. You. Yeah. Oh, there's letter G. Now you know where all four letters are, if you cared about that sort of thing. Oh, I need your help. Otherwise I will not be able to get the bonus or any kind of bonus. Yeah! Rockin' out! Uh, I guess I'll visit Funky Flights, this, just to show you how to move around here. I've got plenty of coins and whatnot, so why not? And I gotta visit the locations anyway for 102%, so here we go! <laughs> I think I'm gonna save all those Lost World levels for later, but yeah, as you can tell, I can go between worlds now using Funky Flights, otherwise you cannot do so just by yourself. I'm not gonna go back to the first world just because I already 100%ed it in every way possible. I just wanted to show you what, what Funky Flights is like. I'm not gonna have to use that for the entire walkthrough because I'm gonna be clearing out level by level. So anyway, I'm gonna go to the next one here because I think I have a bit more time to do so. The Lava Lagoon! And as you can tell, we've got some lava slash water hybrid here. It's it's kind of weird. And we got a new buddy here, which I believe his name is Clapper, because he does that. <laughs> and he makes the water cool enough for you to swim in. And while it's cool enough, you gotta uh, find your way through it as fast as you can. Don't worry if it looks like this red, because it's not going to hurt you. Well, that orangish reddish, it's not going to hurt you. I have a couple secret coins there that I remember. I just thought I would show you the limitations of the water there. Because some people think that when it turns red it's going to hurt you, but it doesn't actually do so. Well, reddish orange, whatever. It's like a combo. Um, I don't really like exploring in the water when it could get hot any moment. But that's kind of the point of this uh, level design here, in that it puts the pressure on you to continue your voyage as quickly as you possibly can. But I know there's some hidden stuff, and there's a letter K down there, but I mean, I know there's a hidden, some hidden stuff, like the Donkey Kong coin, behind some water, not water, behind a wall, like one of those walls that it doesn't look like you can't go through, but you can actually go through, that sort of thing. I'm skipping those bananas. <laughs> not worth it, not worth it whatsoever. And I love the atmosphere of this level too. It's It definitely looks like it's a lot hotter than the other water level, but you know, it's kind of to be expected. Oh, I think this is the thing that I need to get um, the secret dealio in this level. So I'm going to go up and oh shoot, I think I need. I guess it doesn't matter if I'm invincible when I grab this. All right, where 
did I need to go? And I somehow glitched through the water like I was falling through it. Because uh, I need to go through some hole with my invincibility to take advantage of it, and I guess I missed the hole. <laughs> I don't remember where the hole was, dang it. Ah. Uh, maybe it was down there or something? I'm gonna go back and see. Nah, it just looks like down is death. <laughs> Hmm. I get the feeling I'm missing a whole lot of stuff because of the pressure, but I'm, I'm looking for crevices and stuff like that. It's not like I'm not seeing all the walls and whatnot. I'm going up this way just because the arrow says I should. Uh, what, where, where did the other one take me? Was the other one like was the other one like a dead end? I don't care about the letter N. Uh, is this a? Oh, on guard is around here somewhere too. Dang it! How much did I miss here? <laughs> And I know there's a bonus just because of that banana there, but I know there's stuff I missed elsewhere. Oh, maybe this is where I get on guard from, because I know I didn't see it elsewhere. And, uh, yes, if the water turns orange while you're on board with on guard, you will get knocked off it. Just like taking a hit from... How did I take a hit there? Did you see that? Like, Siri... And now I can't get back to the... Oh, freaking... <laughs> Let me see if I can go around it. Oh, that worked. Uh, back in I go, I suppose. And let's try it one more time. I don't understand how I managed to take a hit from the dang pufferfish. <laughs> that it seems improbable since I was clearly attacking it. Ah, whatever. Hit boxes, you can never predict them, I swear. And there we go. No, that's that's a spot for unguard to be lost there. So I don't know what's the point of that other unguard sign unless I simply missed unguard somewhere else in the level. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go through this level again because I'm I'm almost positive I already missed something important. Oh boy! Hurry, hurry! Okay. Oh, jeez! And they raise the water, so I have to race it. I, I, if I could pick you up. Dang trap enemy. Um, hmm. Anything back? Oh, there's that, but I'm not really gonna get that. It doesn't feel worth it to me. Mm, coin, coin, coin. Yeah, I'm just getting the coins just so I can save my game. I think saving my game is more important than extra lives, in all honesty. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to go back in the level, and I'll see you when I find the secret, I guess. Oh, there's a secret there I found by accident, but that's not what I'm looking for. Well, back to this. It might very well be useless, other than, you know, being able to be invincible in the water for whatever reason that you need to. Unless, like, maybe there's a... A wall I can skim through there? No, I guess not. It doesn't seem like that there is any use for that whatsoever. Unless, ugh. But I could have swore there there was a need for invincibility around here. So maybe it's it's just in a later spot. I'm just trying to look around the like skim through the level. There wasn't anything up there because I, I remember that I didn't take that path before, and yeah, what if I were to... Because I remember there was a spot that I went directly up after hitting Clapper, and I ended up... Uh, I, noticing, I noticed a hole in the ground, and I don't know if that may be hit, hiding something or something, but I don't know. Like, this hole right here, is this hiding anything in particular? There is something! What is this? Ah, the Donkey Kong coin. I guess that's all I needed. And that's what I needed the invincibility for. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. And that should be it. Oh, jeez. I jumped the gun. I thought the next one was going to be the coin. Ah. Well, anyway. I 100%ed all the levels so far. Wait, 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 but... Oh. I forgot about that. Uh-oh. Um, at least I thought I 100%ed all the levels. Be right back. I noticed I missed something here. Go back into this barrel. This is right at the beginning, by the way. 
And see this? Little ledge. Yeah, that's where the Donkey Kong coin is. Very tricky and well hidden. Can I like start select out of this now? Okay. And with that, I'm going to end off the part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.